Okay, in this video tutorial, I will discuss about syslog, SNMP, and NetFlow. Okay, uh, what is syslog? Syslog is a reading system messages for switches and router. The best way is to log the messages to a syslog server which store messages from you and can even timestamp and sequence. It is easy to set up and configure. For example, if this is router SF, you can send all the information or event that takes place in this router to the syslog server. For example, I want to look at the console messages of the SF router from last night. Okay. Severity level. There are eight different level of severity level. Notice that it starts from zero. Okay, so there are seven. It's actually eight of them. So the severity level is in alphabetical order, but in in this slide. I will show you according to the degree of severity. The first one is severity 0, emergency, alert, severity 1, critical, severity 2, error, severity 3, and warning, severity 4, and so on until debugging, which is severity 7. So, for example, if you opt for level 4, so level 0 through 4 will be displayed giving you emergency, alert, critical, error, and warning. Okay. So, here is an example of uh, severity level messages. Okay. Notice that the default trap messages from device to NMS level is informational, which is level 6. How do we know? Look at this. Percentage is 5. Okay. That means this is level 6. Okay. Uh, if you type this show login, it will show you. The trap logging is level informational. Okay. And here how we know is percentage is that's five. Notice that if you look at my earlier slide here, informational, okay, six. But it show five because you start from zero. All right. The next thing, I'm going to talk about SNMP, okay, Simple Network Management Protocol. It's an application lawyer protocol that provides a, messages, a message format for agent on a variety of devices to communicate with the network management station. So this computer is a network management station and this is the router. So it has an agent here to send messages to here, to the network management station or NMS. Okay. So the NMS periodically queries or pull the SNMS SNMP agent on a device to gather and analyze statistics via GET messages. Okay. And then this one the agent will reply to the NMS. Okay. Well, when is the SNMP traps trigger? If there is a problem, for example, my interface G gigabit Ethernet 01 went down, it is the end of the world. It's gonna send messages to NMS. Okay? Alright, now we talk about the different version of SNMP. There are three different versions. Version 1 is being rarely to use, okay, if ever implemented today. The first one is version 1 support plain text authentication with community strings and uses only by UDP. Okay. SNMP version 2 support plain text authentication using community string with MD5 or SADH. SHA with no encryption. Okay. It offers more detailed error messages reporting method, but it's not more secure than version 1. It uses GDP, although you can configure it to use TCP. 
and the last one is SNMP version 3 support strong authentication with MD5 or SAD providing confidentiality encryption and data integrity of messages using DASH or DASH 256 encryption between agent and managers so the communication messages gonna be more secure okay this version is also this version uses TCP okay all right uh, NetFlow this is a Cisco proprietary program is efficiently provide a key set of services for IP application including network traffic accounting for baselining usage based network billing for consumer of network services and so on okay for example this is the router and this is the the host pc it monitor the ingress which is in to the router and egress out to the router ingress and egress okay this this uh, station is called network netflow collector okay notice that the netflow use port 9996 okay uh, so that is an example of uh, Cisco NetFlow. Here I give you an example how to configure that. Configure NetFlow interface FA00, IP flow in ingress and IP flow egress exit, and then you put flow export destination 7172.16.20.254, and this is the port number 9996. Okay, here as you can see, send the egress and egress to this netflow collector all right use version 9 and ip flow export uh, source look back okay. that means uh, the look back interfaces the loopback interface defines the source IP address of packets sent to the collector. Okay. Version 9 includes all the fields plus MPLS, IP version 6 information and poor. Here is some list that commonly used in NetFlow. Source IP address, destination IP address, source port number, destination port number, layer 3 protocol field, type of service or TOS marking and input logical interface and plus MPLS and IP version information and poor okay uh, show IP cache flow here if you run this command show IP cache flow it show you all the information about that thank you